Well, hello, knobheads. Welcome to the half pint. <laughs> no, no, that's another podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Do you start speaking English first in Norway and Swedish, and then you start making up your own languages as you get older? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just make it up. Yeah, make it up so. as long as we go. Yeah, yeah. The entire world so, all, all speak English from the beginning, and then we feel like yeah. we need to encrypt it <laughs> so you don't understand. It's like two close friends making up a secret language so nobody understands. <laughs> I never did that as a kid. Some did, but it wasn't uh, like a huge thing around where I grew up. So, uh... oh, me neither. I never did. We didn't have any, any more people to hide it from. <laughs> no, it's so, it's so far and few between called... the people that uh, yeah. didn't need it. I grew up in a place called Mansfield. It's kind of as its secret language anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, the lathe. Yes. I didn't get it. It had gone. No. I missed no. out. Too slow. Yeah, too slow. <sighs> Thought about it too long. Well... So, if it's any cons- consolation, 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 yeah. consolation, yeah, no, um, consolation. <laughs> I'm gonna get laid, um, <laughs> but of course, Are you gonna get one for the next episode. No, uh, oh. because <laughs> I'm not gonna order it before a couple of days. Because then we are going away for the weekend and I don't want uh, the company delivering it while we're away and having it stand outside. Uh, so I'm going to order it on Thursday or Friday or something. Uh, oh, wow. But of course, it's now on sale, but it doesn't say how long it's going to be on a sale. So I'm probably going to go to oh, Thursday yeah. and it's oh, it's back up again. So fuck it. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> how big? Uh <laughs> oh, that's quite big. It's a table size, and I think it takes four, five hundred millimeters of stock, uh, roughly, um, up to I think a uh, hundred and twenty millimeter. Uh, okay. So it's it's a decent size. It's not the smallest, but it still you can lift it up uh, two people up on your workbench yeah. and. Uh, mm. That's good. You'll be able to make a small bowl on it, won't you? Yeah, yeah. And I actually Googled. (laughs) No, I didn't Google. I went to YouTube to see if anybody had any reviews of it. And there is actually a Norwegian who bought it a few years ago and made a review of it. And I just sent him a message and said, this was a nice video. And I'm thinking of getting the same. And he answered back and he said, yeah, this this is a really good buy. So go for it. So... um, yeah, nice. unless nice. it goes up in price again, I'm gonna press order. You heard it here first. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a space dedicated for it in no. the workshop, or um, do you need to throw something out? Um, or can you I'm, rearrange it one more time? I'm not sure if I mentioned time? it, but I, I'm thinking about getting a container. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you still can... don't have a container. No, um, I need to reorganize. I can probably look after the CNC for you if you yeah. like. <laughs> you know, if I got rid of that CNC, I would have a lot of space. Um, no, um, I think it's going to be on the... I mean, I have like a meter and a half of table top uh, workbench where I have the uh, what you call it the the small part storage I can find some other places for that and put it up there uh, just temporarily what I what I really don't like is <laughs> when you get it you have to take it into bits because it's it's covered in this uh, high uh, or low viscosity oil no high viscosity just for transportation oh, so yeah. you have to take it into a thousand parts and degrease everything and put it back together and lube it up and it's a, it's a couple of days work just preparing it for the first run and I don't look forward to oh, that Jesus. No. can you not just jet wash it yeah <laughs> put it outside right, wash it down it. Yeah. Should put it. yeah put it on the trailer and drive it through a car wash it's fine <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that would work <laughs> I'm filmed <laughs> yeah. yeah of course <laughs> 
And after a few <laughs> weeks, uh, well, I would like to return this lathe. I mean, there's some parts that are seized and it's a bit rusty. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It seems to be leaking water. Yeah. <laughs> so that's. So then I have to find project projects that justify me having a lathe. So I have to make round stuff now. So. So have you got any uh, holidays planned, either one of you? Are you actually going away this year? Are you whole five weeks off or? All year off. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes and no. Um, we are going away for four days at um, my wife's aunt's cabin. And then after that, we're just going to stay at home. And uh, the last of the four weeks, uh, we thought about going to my uh, mother's cabin and visit her. But Turns out she has to come down here to attend a funeral because that's what we do now. Um, so we might get a few days in at her cabin if the weather is nice, but if not, we're just going to stay home and chill. Um, so I thought bring nice. the kids to that uh, KitchenAid Lake, as I call it, and uh, just have some <laughs> low-key camping. Or, yeah. So it's going to be nice. 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 Yeah. If that if that video had gone viral, maybe that lake could have been renamed, couldn't it? Yeah. It's the KitchenAid Lake in your honor. Oh, it's <laughs> that would have be, been cool. I mean, it's it's hard to rename it uh, officially, but of course I, I can I can make some signs and head up there yeah, and but... uh, <laughs> yeah. during the night just put up some <laughs> signs. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna call it KitchenAid Lake, I'm sure you could probably get a sponsor on board as well, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, Ken Kenwood or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you really should every time you film something out in the wild, just make a little plaque with a QR code. This is where Glenn filmed this project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's actually. Um... That's a thing, of course. Uh, in olden times, uh, these uh, stone carvings uh, is, of course, uh, protected and uh, tourist attractions. But now that you get battery powered angle grinders and, of course, uh, Dremel tools and so on, people have actually brought that with them and like instead of writing with like a, a pen like glenn was here they have actually carved it into a mountaintop like uh <laughs> and that's hard to remove <laughs> and then of course the <laughs> the the government and uh, of course the local municipalities and so on have gone out and like we do not approve of people just carving their names into stone because that's permanent <laughs> And of course, that gave it enough media attention that now a lot of people do it. So, <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, I didn't carve my name; I carved Havard's name in it. I didn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that I've, but I, I go by many names. At least last week, because uh, <laughs> I, I think it was was it Phil that called me Harold, and then it was Age, yeah. and then it's Harvey, uh, and then uh, Har Harry, yeah. and uh, yeah, Harry. So it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's a new week, new name. I know. In every episode, I now call you Hovar and Havard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> double name. <laughs> It's a four-person podcast, really. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with all the people I have in my head, it's more than four. <laughs> <laughs> so how about you, KJ? Any uh, traveling plans this summer? Or Yeah, we just uh, booked uh, hotel rooms in, in Gothenburg to stay there. Uh, just shy of a week. Uh, nice. Uh, at the, in the middle of the uh, vacation, more or less. Otherwise, it's just going to be a lot of uh, staying at home. And I mean, there's uh, one week more of swing practice. And I guess we're going to go to the uh, my parents-in-law's uh, summer cabin as well. Uh, but other than that, nothing big. 
Nice. So now it's up to you, Glenn, to top us all. <laughs> <laughs> vacation? I don't get vacation. I work all the time. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm too busy. <laughs> Far too busy to go on holiday. No, we'll probably head off um, next month to France, mm. to um, Honfleur, a beautiful little port town in France, in Normandy. And drink lots and lots of wine. Yes, you have to drink lots and lots of wine because French wine tastes nice in France. <laughs> Otherwise they kick it, you out, it, I thought you were going to say. Yeah, no, yeah, no. They need something to wash down all that cheese, so yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. There's the distinct lack of cheddar in France, though. That's a problem for me. <laughs> you need to broaden your horizons when it comes to cheese. I've tried. No, I've tried all the other cheeses, KJ, and some of them are, are acceptable, but cheddar's still the king, so <laughs> why settle for anything less? Yeah. But yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that. So it's a really beautiful place to go and visit. Last time we went, we. Um, we had days out and we went to visit other areas in France, you know, just, just on day trips while we were there. And none were as nice as where we were actually staying. So this time I'll probably just stay put <laughs> for the week and relax a little bit more. Good maybe plan. drink a little bit more wine. <laughs> All, it was the only time I've been to France is we went to Nice uh, for like a weekend. But that was before we had kids. So I... Barely remember it. The before days. <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice. That I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I've been, um, I think I've been to France more times just on fishing breaks than I have on family holidays, to be fair. And when you go on a fishing break, we basically spend the whole week just by one lake. <laughs> we don't go very far at all. <laughs> just to the supermarket for more wine. <laughs> Catch much fish? <laughs> of course, a few in the past, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's happening again this week. Not to France, but I'm um, fishing with my friends on Saturday for a night. So, yeah, that will involve lots of drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe we'll cast the rods in at some point. <laughs> the entire rods, not just the line. <laughs> yeah, but just throw solid. them in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Catch yourself. I hate fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what with the uh, editing podcasts and a uh, little fishing trip, maybe get a little bit of time, maybe an hour on Friday and maybe a little bit of time on Sunday to carry on with my shaping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. How how far are you gone in that? Are you just started, halfway there, almost finished. Uh, I'm beyond the point of no return. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, I've started started on detail, KJ, and uh, yeah, this is where it's probably going to go wrong. And <laughs> then I'll think of something else I'll make. I mean, you can always <laughs> go smaller and smaller. I mean, the, the, the old story, <laughs> I'm going to make a jacket. No, it was going to be a, a vest. No, it's going to be a glove. No, it's going to be a thumb. <laughs> just, just lots of pictures of me sanding. And then I've got my fingertip. Look, it's on my fingertip. It's microscopic. <laughs> I've made dust. <laughs> <laughs> Man glitter. <laughs> yeah, so. I think it, it's not shiny enough to be called glitter. No. Metal shaving, that's. That's yeah. bitter. <laughs> yeah, back in the days, um, for the short time I was a, an engineer, um, Yeah, the, the metal filings were a problem for me because for some reason I refused to wear goggles back in those days and I ended up in hospital twice with metal filings in my oh, eye. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. Oh, that's not nice. Nope. <sighs> do, do you know why it's not especially nice? Do you know how they remove them? Don't want to know. <laughs> 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 the first time they did it they held my eye open with a big light over it and then they came in with a hypodermic needle to suck off the uh, metal filing so we've got a, not only was my eye wide open I got a needle coming towards it <laughs> <laughs> which was terrifying <laughs> yeah, that's not... <sighs> oh. and then you have to wear an eye patch for 24 or 48 hours, I can't remember what, because rust had started developing in the eye. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. So wear goggles, kids, yeah. or at least ear defenders. All right, so then, then we have the 
the name for the half pint as well. Uh, rusty Eyeball, and then uh, the main the, <laughs> rusty eyeball the like main that. episode is the uh, liquid sunglasses. So yeah, oh, <laughs> it's a nice I... theme here. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice. Uh, I I actually accidentally stepped on my safety glasses just the other day, but they were good enough quality, so the the glass part just popped out, so I can just pop it back in again. So it just that's cool. That was that was really <laughs> nice because I I mean I they weren't that expensive, but it wasn't the cheapest kind. So I felt, oh damn it, I stepped on them. Ooh, I could just fix them. Pop, pop. That's that's the problem. Kind of a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's a problem. I I just took a note on safety goggles because uh, I have, I think I have four pairs. Uh, one of them is, a, a, it's the same brand, but it's sunglasses. And then the three other ones, and it's from my previous jobs. So I had several, but they are now so scratchy and crappy that mm. I should really get another pair. But having several pairs is really nice because the chance of you finding them increases <laughs> um, yeah. but yeah so i need to have a have a check to see if i find someone that's comfortable and looks decent and actually do the job so if anyone has a, a tip i'm open for suggestions yeah you really should have multiples i have they're spread out throughout the workshop so it's one should glasses and ear defenders should be reachable from yeah. every workstation yeah but now I've lost my, my really good ones. I can't for the life of me remember where I put them. Probably in some pocket somewhere I've forgotten about. But that's that's really annoying. Because they are they are the really comfortable ones. <laughs> yeah. The one thing I really need to do in my workshop is um put my dust mask away and not just hang it up on the French cleat wall when I've done with it. Because it just gets filled with dust. <laughs> <laughs> Come to put it on, it's got dust inside of it. It's in the name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So you need a dust mask, dust mask for your dust mask. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that's a. Uh, I actually use my table saw to die, and there is dust everywhere. And then I realized that uh, the vacuum cleaner I used uh, it's full, so that's why it didn't actually do any <laughs> dust extraction. So I realized I um, I used my compressor to blow off the worst, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do like you did, Glenn. I'm gonna fire up the magic yeah. machine and uh, have a good yeah. clean. But I'm actually gonna move the table out one day when the the sun is shining, and uh, of course I need to do a bit of tidying so that the the loosest and lightest of items is tucked away before I go. Uh, Duke Nukem with the <laughs> yeah. with the <laughs> blow it all out. <laughs> what was it? His tagline at the end of the game: "I'm going to rip up your head and shit down your neck." <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Now that you mention it, <laughs> that uh, that guy actually have a TikTok account because he has really taken off. So people are just requesting, say this, say that. Um, I mean, he's a he's a decent bloke, and of course, he he's happy to oblige. So, yeah, <laughs> kind of kick ass and chew bubble gum. <laughs> That's the classic one. Oh. Yeah, that's the worst thing about uh, using the magic machine in the workshop. We do generally, I blow stuff off the walls. And <laughs> yeah. Um. That being said, I, I, I've done a realization this week, and I'm not sure if it's a good thing um, for, for my project life or bank account or whatever. Um, um, at one of my previous work, we had like this Honda petrol powered uh, like a water pump. And mm -hmm. today I stumbled over one at AliExpress and of course it's not Honda but it's a knockoff and when I clicked on it and then of course I stumbled into other items that people buy and I actually I found the engine for the mini quad that I bought uh, I also found the exact same engine as I used on the KitchenAid and you can get it with the weed whacker clutch or you can get it with a, a clutch housing with a sprocket on it so you can drive whatever you want oh, basically wow. 
and the prices on those they shocked me i mean that motor for um uh, the the weed whacker i th- you could get it for like fifty dollars and then it was uh thirty forty dollars in shipping or something like that but that is cheap and then it's it's brand spankingly new out of the box with all the uh, connections and everything and the same for that water pump it was like a seventy eighty dollars or something like that so and that means you don't have to fabricate as much and you don't have to find i mean you can just buy it new when it works so i yeah. got several ideas for new projects now so <laughs> did you buy them no but i i no I just check in <laughs> I, I put them in my uh, shopping cart so i i'll, I'll find them for later <laughs> <laughs> so you can accidentally press buy when you have one whiskey too much <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that's so the other week when i was um struggling to think of something I didn't know what to make so I've been limited time in the workshop just lately and it's given me loads of ideas <laughs> I think that if you're ever struggling for ideas just get yourself in a situation where you're not allowed to go even you haven't got the time to go and make yeah. and <laughs> all the ideas all flood in yeah. yeah that's pretty much it yeah yeah I have a list on my phone of a possible project and that lists get longer if we're away somewhere where I'm not in my workshop yeah. or uh, yeah. You need time away for that sort of thing for ideas to percolate a bit and actually surface. Yeah, it is nice, and um, I, I actually the wife said that if you want to to stay home this weekend while I take the kids to uh, my aunt's cabin, then you're more than welcome to, and of course. At a, at a fraction, <laughs> yeah, at a fraction of a second, like, ooh, that's very nice. But then, no, I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time in the workshop over the holidays. Of course, spending time with the kids uh, and just like have some spare time where I don't feel the need that all right, I should run down to the workshop every free uh, minute I get. So yeah, yeah. Well, I think to be fair, if you're, um, you know, if, if what you get now is about an hour a day in there, and if you're on vacation, if you're in for two hours a day, that still leaves a lot of family time, doesn't it? And double your work time as well, so your workshop time as well. So that's quite a nice compromise, isn't it? Yeah, and to, and Especially for something like that. To be fair, I I prioritize the kids all the time, so as, as long as they're awake, I don't like pop into the workshop unless they are. Uh, doing some activities or something um so it, it's basically allocating also more time to the wife because of course um, yeah we're running a kindergarten together so uh once they are <laughs> um, at uh, bed then of course my my wife like to uh, decompress and read and then i go down to my workshop but uh, we also have to like all right but we also have to do things together so uh, i'm gonna prioritize that a bit see if we can't uh, get some to babysit and actually go out and eat and drink a bottle of wine be yeah be grown, yeah, be grown up and <laughs> do grown-up things <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody's yawning. We're looking <laughs> a little bit tired. Shall we call it a night? Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. And then that will align with yeah. my uh, experiment of going to bed early this week. Yeah, how has that gone well? Yeah, that's been gone extremely well. I was sitting here yawning one day at nine, and I like, all right, turned on the computer and I'm not going to do anything, just go to bed. And I did. And then the next day I went to bed at 10. And of course, we scrolled a bit on the phone, but the light was out before 11. And uh, yeah, it's really made it easier to get up in the morning. So there there's yeah. might, might actually be something there. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. So we shouldn't keep you from it then. <laughs> well, today I had, the, I had a... I had a nap putting the oldest one to bed, so uh, I'm not ready to tuck in yet, but I'm not going to start anything. And I'm, I've turned the lights off in the workshops. So I'm not going to go in there. So, yeah, might bring the phone to bed and watch a couple of YouTube videos and 
Yeah, pass out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fair enough then. In which case, we will say good night to our listeners, or good morning, or good stress relief, whatever it is we've, <laughs> we've landed on. <laughs> good stress relief, you say? Yeah. <laughs> We'll see you next time. <laughs> see Bye. <ya>. Bye. <laughs> Good stress relief. <laughs> what do you think our listeners are doing? Well, I think that's what we hit on last time, wasn't it? <laughs> that was the, one of the last things we said, or I said, on the last half pint. Yeah. The wank cast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they, then they really enjoy the episode. I mean, if they... Uh having a wank while listening to us <laughs> i mean yeah they're free to do it i'm yeah, yeah I don't, I don't i'm judge. not no. i'm not 100 comfortable with that <laughs> <laughs> you can only imagine glenn at the distance <laughs> yeah in a boat standing in a corner <laughs> with blue hands <laughs> I've heard about blue blue balls, but blue hands. Mm, okay. Don't don't call me daddy. Call me Papa Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we didn't stop the recording for that. <laughs> I was waiting for a gem like that so that we, we can't possibly top that. So. <laughs>